I do want to say, guys, before uh, final plugs, my do my feed me more motivation here. I think that's what we're calling it now. The thought of the week: feed me more motivation. And uh, this week, unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to do anything with the quote book, or it's just more, uh, you know, with the, with the passing of of Kobe Bryant and his daughter, uh, and and uh, the other family and people on that helicopter. It was, uh, you know, I grew up watching Kobe. He was a few years older than me. And uh, it's a difficult thing. I was on Twitter and I was doing my social media work in the morning and I saw the TMZ thing pop up and I thought it was just a joke. I was like, there's no way. And then it started popping up more and more. And then I, I go, shit, I did a search and started seeing more and more stuff. And then it was all being quoted though, being the TMZ thing. I go, so maybe they're wrong. And, uh, and then it was like confirmed in multiple things and from other sources. and. It's like holy shit then they had the footage and as far as afterwards and you know I think it's uh nothing but I, I send out nothing but just you can't help but feel for the families and everyone involved and you know and Kobe's wife and, and their other daughters that their life their lives are drastically have drastically changed and I think for any of us that you know I know certainly for me can't even imagine if you just your family's just taken away from you um, and trying to figure that out and have it make any sense which I don't think it ever will it's um I, I, I just nothing just heartfelt condolences to everyone involved and I always and I was talking to somebody else about this for me I think you you, you try to make sense of something that doesn't make sense because that's I think what we do as humans and uh, I look at it, I go, well, this guy, maybe, and it's it's fucked up regardless. There's no other way, but I, I go, to, what sense could I make of this? And I, I just said, this guy was put on this earth uh, and achieved a massive level of success. That's what we see. Um, but I, this horrific uh, incident occurred, and I think the one you know, drawing a positive from this extreme negative is I feel like there's been a worldwide, um, he's caused inspiration worldwide. Everyone, I think, and it, I think everyone, it, it's a wake up call to everybody that I think it, that, that money and all that, at the end of the day, love and happiness is, um, should be the end game, should be the goal, and to treat people well to be good human beings as much as we can and we're human we're gonna we're gonna be judgmental at times and but I think at the end of the day we have to kind of just like realize like hey this shit can be over any fucking day it doesn't matter who you are it, it, it literally doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter what you do it can be over any day so to be grateful for each and every day and I know for me that's what it really I, I, I how you can't draw inspiration from that and, and feel and uh, it just kind of made me look at you go what am I doing what can I what can I do to get even more out of every day and um, that to me that's the only way to look at it and obviously I'm not and it, it's in uh, the other end for the families I can't even it, it doesn't make sense I mean it won't so there's no no point of trying to that and it, it's just I hope to God that they can uh, do overcome it with time and ne they never overcome it as far as the, but um, you see with people in life the people that go on to inspire uh, the masses like, and do great great things and become just exceptional human beings tend to have come from really bad situations so that for me is my hope that everyone involved with all of this and the families can somehow use it as the inspiration and motivation to to help others even more um because there's no other way to look at it i don't really know you know and uh man i grew up watching that guy i love those uh, lakers guy and i've never been like a huge basketball guy or anything but i enjoyed watching and man i love i love greatness and people that uh 
work ethic. And I think if you see the videos of uh, a lot of the things that he did behind the scenes and uh, the amount of lives that he touched, and, and it's uh, and I'm sure as everyone involved did i just think kobe was on camera a lot more and uh man it's uh it's a crazy world we live in so my heart goes out to everyone involved i'm, I'm truly sorry and it's uh we got to take advantage of each day guys we really do it's uh it just makes you think that's all i mean I, every day it, and i didn't know them i had no interaction with them but i think about it every day because it's just like fuck Whew, it's rough. So, and then for the kids out there and stuff, and don't be one of those that I saw some people making jokes on online on social media, and don't do that. It's not. It's not. It, it, don't do that. Because that shit will come back to bite you in the ass. Don't do that. Be better than that, and don't be a piece of shit. And with that, guys, wrap up this week's show. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all-natural su my all-natural supplement line. Supplement, supplement. Stupid. My all-natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition. Available on Amazon and FeedMeMore.com. And as always, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget, feed me more.